Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Y'all check out my interview with Boss Talk 101 with E and Miss Jamaica. Boss. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, yeah we gonna talk, we gonna have fun. We be on fire. Shout out Ixto, man. Yes, sir. Every time. Big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit. Let me understand something else um, that you had going on, because you real interesting, you know. Um, well, no, this wasn't really your issue, actually. I I had rainwater on here. This is my issue, then. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. had oh, rainwater man. on here. And, Supreme uh, got about three or four of these going? Yeah, man, rainwater was on here. And, and I, I asked a question about uh, <laughs> K Breezy. Yeah. And he was just, uh, you know, giving us some information on how Mo3 and K Breezy met. And then, you know, he was just looking at, he said she would be, would have been successful by now. Okay, so you did you call K Breezy? Or how, did you play part in that? Uh, three called me and showed me K Breezy uh, a video of her on Twitter. Okay, and you know, uh, yeah, we had called K Breezy. What did you think about her? I like K Breezy, and then when the shit that happened in Fort Worth, uh, they she neglected Mo Three. Oh, what that really? She never talked to Kyle Mo Three ever again for two years, and then she did the, the six pick song with Freddie and the girls in the video. And then she took a picture with uh with Freddie and said, My favorite trap trapper. And uh three was like, Man, he, that kinda I mean that kinda that kinda hurt three. So that was around the yeah, that was yeah, around the same was, time yeah. that everything yeah, was going down. Yeah, then she then she put made a post on another post on Facebook that three was aware about. And, you know, he was like, that kinda hurt him. So then she just came out the blue at the Dun Dun the Seven, was like, Where my chain at? You know, she went off on me and Sean Cotton. Really? And three. You know, wow. So, could y'all ever work together again? It's done. Couldn't work with her no more. Yeah, I already see somebody that they. Uh, yeah, you could tell by somebody. Uh, yeah, but yeah, brain see, people can want, change though, man. I don't want to. You work can't put people in a box to where yeah. they can't get out that box, man. No, you already just see it though. You know, you know, you already see per people personality. This not this is some rap shit. So you allow some some rap shit get in your head like that or things like that when we ain't did nothing but help her. I was paying. I was paying for studio time at my pocket, and you know, three was giving her some studio time and giving her game. And you know, when it's time for shows, come on, Cap you know what I'm saying? Or when three did have a show, and it, we was throwing it ourselves. You know, I put his artists on there and pay them. Wow. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when they get mad when they get to, y'all ain't never did nothing for me and this and that and this and that. Like wow. all she had to do was stay down. If she would have stayed down from the time. From the time she met us to now, she'll be famous right now. What what was statement? What, well, what well, the fact that she would have been successful by now? Um, if so it wasn't for if this it man, because yeah, he she was with Mo three and, and Rain now. Okay, that's how she first came into the game. Oh, okay. am I, I'm right in the music game? In the music uh, game, I mean, when you, she you came from college, that, she um, said that on the panel. Not from Rain, though. Uh, it was Mo, Mo Three. Yeah, he, okay. she don't have nothing to do with no with with, with rest in peace, Mo Three. Yeah, rest in peace, Mo Three. Sure. Man, I, I went back and listened to some of his stuff, man. Talented. I'm like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. So Boy, I'm going back listening. I'm thrown <laughs> off. We listened last night. So Rain shot slugs. Oh, yeah, he been this, this yeah this this that's the game you gotta this, like like my, like the OG uh Big Melvin say this is this is verbal assassins you hear me <laughs> yeah for sure so you <laughs> but, know, so, uh, so do you feel mean, like she would have been <laughs> successful I mean uh, she uh, is if she'd have stayed w w with with the with the whole I guess HSM you want me to answer that yeah I'm asking the question so, so dig this he um her even being there had nothing to do with him she went because Mo three saw interest in her. You feel me? She didn't blow their line up, pressure them. It wasn't none of that. It wasn't because this dude has outstanding managerial skills. You feel me? It was because Mo3, being who he is, who he was, he saw a liking and a, and a talent in Kate Breeze, and that's how she got there. But she didn't last long because she saw where it was going because who was— She elected to do something different. She, she saw she, where it was she, going because of what? Because who was supposedly at the head— Who's at the head? Oh, bro, we talking about yeah. So that was see, the reason see, she see, left. See, see, getting me to to do this is see you unlocking the key to the whole thing. You feel me? Um, they want to have a little spice with you on the yeah, end. Yeah, ain't, no, spice, ain't no, a little back and forth. It don't mean yeah. yeah. I really, I just really want to understand because the statement. One thing I will not do if he was a, if he spoke on uh, K Breezy, then I got like I told Rain about even when I went and interviewed OG Bobby Billions. 
I, I have to give another person a chance to say their piece. So look, check this you know out. What I'm saying? Yeah, that's the way it goes. Because it ain't right for me to, you know Can't what I mean? Can't choose no sides. No. Yeah, check, uh, check, check this, E. So, so Mo3 is is the one, he is the dopest to me. I, I felt like he went on the dopest in Texas. I, I felt like he was up there with, with, with that. You hear me? In the whole state. The, the no great doubt. The great state. Yeah, no the doubt. Great state. I feel like he was. I like he, it when he, you say he's, that. He's up be, there. So, he at home now. But that had nothing to do with nothing with, with with buddy, so so your artist passes away, and now you 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 act like you the go to guy to talk to. I gotta I gotta boost my brand, baby. I, you hear me? Like I gotta going, do me now. But look though, look at the the evilness and what's going on, the wickedness. Okay. So y'all really feel like this this Metroplex gonna do something if if this is who. You, you know what I'm saying? Charleston White is is something way different than letting that dude talk. You hear me? Okay. Now he can speak because this is freedom of speech, but that shit is poison, and he don't know nothing about what he talking about. You hear me? See, I, I really, I really do what I do, and it ain't, I, it ain't never been for no money. You dig what I'm saying? It's been to really help, you know. Uh, and I get caught up in this, this kind of web that they, that that they doing out here. But, but like you said, if it ain't a little spice, if you can't, if you, you ain't supposed to be here, then yeah. you know what I'm saying. But I know that I'm supposed to be here. Cause I wouldn't still be here. What? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.